I'm going to tell you how to prepare for the AIA PGET exam without any coaching and we are starting right now. Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Tara Khan. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies. If this is your first time here, start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything. I received few comments and a few messages from students asking about how to prepare for the AIPGT exam without coaching. So here is a video on it. So in this video, I'll be telling you based on my knowledge and based on my experience of 5-7 to seven years, what would I do if I were to prepare for AIPGT today? What books I would follow? What MCQs I would solve? How many MCQs I would solve? What study routine I would follow? How would I make a perfect study plan? Basically everything. And this video is not for any particular AIPG 2024 or AIPG 2025. No, this is a generic video on how to prepare. So the first thing that I would do is get hold of all the previous AIPGT papers right from 2018 to 2023. And how would you get these papers? You can find these papers given at the back of your success book. You can also find these papers in Pulse app. It is available for free or the best place to find these papers is down in the description of this video. I have shared a link of Pulse channel. There you will find the PDF of all these papers. So you can easily download them or you can even print them. So after getting all these papers, what would I do? I would start making a list of each and every topic that has ever crossed the examiner's mind right from 2018 until 2023. And I would spend the first seven to 10 days doing this because I want each and every topic that has ever been in a question, each and every topic that has ever been in an option. And after making a list of these topics, I would categorize these topics under subjects and under chapters or topics. Basically, this list has all the topics examiners ever think while making a paper, while making your question. So this way you are having a mind not of a student, but of an examiner. So that was the first thing. The second thing that I would like to share is about the books. What textbook you should follow, what MCQ books you should follow. See, the textbooks that you have already followed in your university exams for your BHMS, for your first, second, third, fourth BHMS, continue using that textbook because you are very much accustomed to those textbooks. If you have studied physiology, for example, I have studied physiology from Mahapatra. So I would always follow the textbook for physiology to be Mahapatra. But if you have studied physiology from Ganon, then go for that. For Materia Medica, you should follow Allen's keynote and Boris Materia Medica. And for Oroganan, you should follow Ari Dajan, the uh, sixth edition Ari Dajan. And for Repertory, you can follow SK Tiwari. That is a very nice book. And for pharmacy, Mandal and Mandal would be enough. For anatomy, you can follow B.D. Choroskia. And basically what I want to say, the textbooks that you have already been following. Apart from the textbooks, there are few reference books that I would have definitely studied. The first one is the SARP series. Now there are SARP series for individual subjects, for anatomy, for physiology, for medicine, for gynae, obs, basically you will get SARP series for all allied subjects. You will find the purchase link of all the reference book that I am mentioning in the description of this video. So you can go there and buy from there. So that was SARP series. Next book that you can follow is Crack the Entrance. That is a very nice book for Materia Medica. For Organon, I would suggest you to follow AKD. All the three volumes are good enough for your BHMS also and it will also help for solving MCQs also. But for Organon, make sure that you are using AKD as a reference book, not as a primary book. Because if you start studying MCQs only from reference book, then surely you won't be able to solve any MCQs in the exam. So first, the primary book should be your Ari Dajan. AKD is only for reference, only for understanding few things. After these reference books, let me mention few MCQ books that I would follow. The first one is PG+. PG Plus is a very nice book that has been tested throughout the years. It has a lot of MCQs, a lot of good MCQs in it and it is subject wise, topic wise. So basically for your allied part, PG Plus is more than enough. The second book, if you're not following PG Plus or if you don't have PG Plus or you don't get PG Plus, the second book I would recommend is go through Rome's. Rome's has a bit of MCQs and also study materials means the explanation is also given in pg plus the explanation is not given but that is not required also because you already have the reference book the sub series so explanation in the mcq book is not mandatory so if you have pg plus well and good go for it otherwise 
the second option is Rome. So that was for the allied portions. Now for the homeopathy portion, one book that I would highly recommend is this book. This book, Jana and Ra. This is the most amazing book that I would like all of you to solve MCQs from because this book has lots and lots of MCQs in Ripper Tree, in Pharmacy. In Pharmacy, you will find more than 500-600 MCQs. In Materia Medica, there are more than 3000 MCQs. In Organon, around, similarly around 700-800 MCQs. So this book has lots of MCQs first of all and all your current books, Success, Turning Point, Kaizen, all these books have been copied from this book. Now there is one bad news and one good news. The bad news is that this book is not available anywhere. This book you won't find it in the market, you won't find it anywhere online. But the good news is that I have found a person who has this book and is going to take the liberty of making a copy of this book and sending it to your address. So the details on how to contact this person in case you want this book will be given in the description of this video. For homeopathy, if you are solving MCQs from this book, there will be no other book that will be required. And in case if you don't have this book, then the second book that I would recommend is Go For Success. The volume 1 part, it has homeopathy portions. The study materials are also good and there are few MCQs also. Of course, not as much as this book, but that is the second best alternative that you can get. So that was about all the books. Now, let me give you a roadmap on how you're going to study. So the first subjects that you're going to study are the subjects that you were taught in your first BHMS. So the subjects that you are going to start studying are the first BHMS subjects because those are the subjects that are probably out of your mind by now. So start studying anatomy. Now, how to study individual subjects? See, don't open up BD Chaurasia and start studying anatomy. Okay. The way to study, the way to prepare for these competitive exams is start solving MCQs from PG plus. Open up PG plus, open up anatomy. The, in PG plus, section wise MCQs are given like MCQs on upper limb, then MCQs on lower limb, MCQs on thorax, abdomen, head and neck means each and every subject is given in a very topic wise. Start solving MCQs from upper limb. Okay, solve first MCQ, solve second MCQ, solve third MCQ. There might be few topics that you have completely forgotten or you might come across few topics that you absolutely don't know, you have never heard of. Then you go back to BD Chaurasia, open up that topic, study about that topic. This is the way that you are going to study anatomy and all the allied subjects. For physiology, start studying system wise. Solve MCQs on CBS. If you have any doubt, say you don't, you have forgotten about the cardiac cycle. You have forgotten about ECG. Open up Mahapatra, go through ECG, go through cardiac cycle. Okay. So that is how you're going to study each and every subject. And while you are studying, solve MCQs from PG plus. In case of doubt, open your textbook and simultaneously go through the SARC series. Go through the reference books. For FMT, you just need to do two things. One is PG plus MCQs, second is SARC series. If you have these two, if you have done these two, there will be no MCQ in the final exam that you are going to miss from FMT. Similarly, for community medicine, just two things, SARC series and PG plus MCQs. For gynae ops, gynae ops are very, very scoring subjects. Okay, so go through the PG plus MCQs. Again, if you have doubt or if you want to study few things about that topic, open up your DC Datta and study from there and then SARP series is there. So those were the allied subjects. Now the homeopathy subject. For pharmacy, solve MCQs from this and also there is a study material which is given in the at the beginning of each and every subject. The study material is very nice. Like I said, all the study material that you find in today's book, success, turning point, and all these study materials are copied from here. So go through the study material of pharmacy from here, solve MCQs from here. Doing this will complete your pharmacy. Okay. And you have your Mandal Mandal. If you have any doubt in topics, if you want to study topic, go to Mandal Mandal and study from there. Similarly for repertory, for repertory, you can do two things. Study from here, the study material portion, the MCQ portion and also take help of SK Tiwari. Because in SK Tiwari, you will find few philosophies, you will find few things which are not mentioned here. So for repertory, also keep SK Tiwari as a reference. So that was for repertory and pharmacy. Now coming to organ. 
for organon i want you to go through each and every line of hydrogen but how to study organon open up this book go to the organon section there is a study material of organon also given here but don't go through the study material section start solving the mcqs directly and the mcqs here of organon are given very systematically means from the introduction portion then from the life history of hanneman then from each and every aphorism up to 294 so this is the way the mcqs has been arranged here so start solving mcqs right from here so solve mcq 1 2 3 and simultaneously when you are solving mcqs from here say there is an mcq of aphorism 26 or there is an mcq on aphorism 1 go to ari dajan open up aphorism write the mcq there or mark the portion or mark the important line over there or the important word over there because just before your exam i don't want you to open up mcqs from organon from this book and study no i want all of you to mark each and mcqs in your ari dajan so that before your exam you open up ari dajan study mcqs from there that is how i have studied organon i never went through mcqs twice from this book all mcqs are marked in my organon book if i go through the organon book each and every mcqs i would recall i would revise next is materia medica and there are two things that i would absolutely recommend first go through a video that i have uploaded in the past in my on my youtube channel where i have talked about how to study materia medica the four ways to study materia medica okay so go through that video i have put the i'll put the link of that video in the description and uh, how i studied let me tell you how i studied materia medica i studied materia medica from these two books this is allen's keynote now what i did all the mcqs i started solving from this book from jana and ran so i went through the first mcq what i did i marked that mcq in allen's keynote i again went through the second mcq the third mcq say the first mcq is from sabaina so i opened up sabaina and wrote down jr means janarat beside that symptom again the second mcq may be from other medicine from carbovay the third mcq from tebecum again suppose the fifth or the sixth mcq is again from sabaina so again i opened up sabaina again i wrote jr in front of that beside that symptom now when i again opened up sabaina i i saw that okay one jr is already written beside sabaina means this symptom i revised again and also i learned a new symptom from sabaina so this way i had solved all 3000 mcqs from here if you do this this is how your book is going to look see my entire book in each and every page you are going to find jr jr written means janarat 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 everywhere you will find it is written all these from the with the red pen i had written it so this is how i studied materia medica so that was the first thing that i wanted to talk about the second absolute recommendation for materia medica is that i have made few courses on materia medica where i have taught drug by drug aconite arsenic brinia rustruc i have taught drug by drug materia medica for bhms and most importantly for aipgt for competitive exam so if you go through my course on materia medica solving mcqs on this subject is going to get a lot easier and the important thing is that the first 50 students who register in this course are going to get 40% off the discount coupon and the link of the course will be given in the description of this video now let me talk about the study schedule so if your internship is going on then you should at least study for 6 hours and if you don't have your internship going on if you don't have any duties then you should at least give 10 hours for preparation and how many mcqs should you be solving each day start with solving at least 100 mcqs in the beginning and then eventually from third month fourth month onwards increase this number to 300 400 mcqs each day and start giving tests from second month onward and try to appear in the test on a weekly basis and that too on the same time when the final exam is going to get conducted probably the final exam is conducted in the morning from 10 to 12 pm so make sure you are appearing in the test during this time because this is how you are going to train your brain you are going to prepare your brain to be most active during the day so appear in the test in the same time now where are you going to find these test papers take help of your friends your friends are probably studying in some coaching take papers from there second you will find few psc papers upsc papers previous years state psc paper at the back of success book 
give tests on those papers and after appearing in the test calculate your score analyze the test paper what you did wrong why you did wrong why you couldn't mark and answer correctly whether you did not know the topic if you did not know the topic go back and study the topic or you knew the topic but you got confused why you got confused go back and revise the topic so this is how you analyze your test and make as much mistake as you can here while you are preparing while you are appearing in test so that you make zero mistake in the final exam and the next important thing is start revising from third month onward whatever you have studied in the first month you should revise in the third month whatever you have studied in the second month you should revise in the fourth month so this way if you revise make sure that you are revising at least four to five times before your final exam and the last point that i want to discuss is staying motivated and consistent because you see these exams are mentally very exhaustive they these exams are going to drain you if you are preparing for one year these exams are going to exhaust you completely and here is where coaching centers help because coaching centers what they do they have this schedule they give you this schedule you have to run on the schedule of the coaching center this is the portion that you don't have to worry because coaching centers they keep you under constant pressure and this you will have to do on your own and how are you going to do i would recommend create study groups among your friends make a group of few serious students and discuss what you are studying discuss what they are studying and make a schedule in these 7 days we are going to study anatomy upper limb in the next 7 days we are going to study organon so many aphorisms and also pharmacy so and so topic and make sure that both of you or all of you are sticking to this routine because that is how you are going to have a pressure upon yourself because you will always feel that if i don't complete the topic my friend will complete so these are the things that i wanted to talk about in the video definitely go check out my materia medica course so this is the road map that i want all of you to follow and if you follow this properly you should be able to score more than 380 out of 480 marks and a score of 380 will give you in the top 10 so let me know how you like the video and definitely go and check out my materia medica course and don't forget to apply the discount coupon at checkout see you in the next video